Happy Saturday! I'm Tanya Penny, your Healing Catalyst and Freedom Coach. And today I want to round out the month by talking a little bit more about life balance. And specifically in this video, I want to share with you why we fall out of balance. And uh, of course the three P's I brought up last time, but you know, why do we fall into the three P's is what I want to share with you, as well as a few tools to help you continue to shift back into balance. Some easy to use tools. So last video I shared with you the three P's, the things that I believe cause us to fall out of balance the most, and that is pretending to be superwoman, people pleasing, and perfectionism. So again, if you didn't watch the last video, I recommend that you head back over there, link below to do that. So why do we fall into these patterns of people pleasing, perfection, and pretending to be superwoman? Well, one of the reasons is because it has been modeled for us to do that. Maybe your mom, your dad, both of them um, have these patterns. And so as children, we see things and we pick them up and we begin to do them. It's just the way it happens. So it might just be a habit for you. And then also a deeper reason is fear. Typically, fear of losing love, not getting love, time and attention, and then of course, money fear. So, for example, if you have uh, a tendency to people please, you might people please in order to get love and attention, to feel worthwhile. And to not people please, you fear that you would not get the love and attention. Pretending to be superwoman, overdoing, Perhaps you overdo for fear of not being good enough. You equate your worthiness with how much you do. Raise your hand if that's you. That's a lot of us. It's actually conditioned in our culture to do that. And then for um, perfectionism, again, that we have to do everything perfect. If we don't, we won't be worthwhile. Maybe we won't get... Um, if we're not perfect enough at work, we'll get fired. And then there's the money fear, right? We won't, we'll get fired, we won't have a job, and we won't have money. So usually fear of losing love, attention, time, or money, or not getting it in the first place. So one of the first tools I want to share with you to begin to shift these patterns is to, of course, journal. And I asked you guys to journal last time on where do you have these patterns in your life and with who? Where do you think they came from? Mom, dad, what did you see growing up? And then I want you to add a piece of that and say why. Why do you people please? Why do you fall into perfection? What do you hope to get from that? And why do you pretend to be superwoman? And you're gonna write out one of the three reasons or what the fears are for you. It might be all three for some of you. The, the love, the attention, the time, the money. So. You're going to take that journaling a little bit further. So, and then as a daily tool to help you shift, every evening, and this is something I have all my one-on-one -on -one clients do that's, that are working on this, every evening you're going to take about five to ten minutes to journal on throughout the day where you fell into these patterns. This continues, and not to beat yourself up, but to have more and more awareness. The more aware of it you become, the more you can begin to shift it. So that's tool number one, journaling five to ten minutes every evening on where do these patterns come up in your life. Number two, you're actually, and this is for those of you who are pretending to be superwoman specifically, is you're going to start scheduling time in your day for self-care. So work time, self-care time, and this goes back to the life balance, work, rest, and play, me time versus we time. Whether you use a Google Calendar, iCalendar, or a paper calendar, you're going to start to schedule in blocks of time for work, for rest, for play, me time versus we time. If we schedule it, again, it increases the awareness and we're more likely to do it to stick to it. Okay, so those are for those of you who are typically putting too much on your plate, right? And then for those of you who fall into perfection, you're going to start also scheduling and limiting the amount of time you spend on something. 
So maybe you usually spend five hours cleaning your house and that's like a little bit over the top and you know that. Maybe you spend just an hour. For those of you who have that problem at work, overdoing on your projects, spending way too much time, you're going to actually block a set of, uh, an amount of time and limit it to that. That's something big that I've started to do to, to reel in my perfectionist. And then the last thing, of course, is the guided TMP practices, you guys, are huge in shifting the patterns, the beliefs, and also releasing the fear that goes along with needing, like wanting to shift this, right? So in the TMP practices, we not only plant our heart's desire, we work through the beliefs that keep us falling into these patterns and releasing the fears, the doubts, and um, instilling courage. So some of you already have TMPs, great, you can use those and just insert your beliefs. But if you're looking for more, if you're looking to really go deeper into this area of life balance, then I highly recommend grabbing the audio program below. It's going to give you uh, some TMP practices, it's going to go deeper into these, these tools and, the, and these keys. And you have two options. One of them is the mini, mini audio program, Vibrant Body Blueprint. The other one is the full out nine month audio program. That is the version of my women's circle where we spend a whole month on this topic and lots of topics that are related. And because it's Memorial Day, I'm gonna give you guys a special today until Tuesday. Because I know some of you are on vacation this weekend and maybe haven't been checking your email. So until Tuesday, the day after Memorial Day, until midnight, I'm going to be giving you guys 30% off both audio programs, which is uh, a pretty great discount if I say so myself. So <laughs> take some time, carve out some time to start to put these tools into place some simple, easy to use tools to help you shift into more balance in your life. Decrease stress, more balance, more health, more joy, more passion. And grab one of the audio programs below. You won't be sorry. So thanks for joining me. I'm Tanya Penny. And if you know of somebody in your life that could use a little more life balance, feel free to forward this video, to like it below, share it on Facebook, whatever way works for you. Share the love. Have a great weekend.